Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Mu. Uh, we are currently... Uh, we just finished Mrs. of Aiden and I'm confused. Uh, the... Honestly, the ending just... So weird. Like... I, I don't know where to start. Like, I, I really thought that the... the um, I really thought that the... Uh, uh, the base of the game was really fun. Like, you got to a place, you broke in... And then when you got to whatever, you know, what you were supposed to do, then you get like transferred back into the beginning, you know? And I think that is fine because I think that was a fun like way of doing it. Like actually like you're rewinding the tape and redoing it in a different way. I really like that. I really did. Um, it was very creative. It was fun um, because that meant that you managed to get through like the story, but then you were rewinded back and you were like, confused like what the fuck was going on which i thought was really really fun uh on top of that um like i felt like it was the story was really intriguing like why are you being like you had so much thoughts when you were playing this because you were wondering what the fuck is going on and then you know it was basically other dimension it was aliens it was you know you were a thief and there was this and it was monsters and then there was like th there was a lot of things going on in this game and it all kind of confused you and you were like what the fuck suddenly i'm in a you know a dungeon a, a, a medieval dungeon and next time i was taking pictures with a camera and it was giving me these pictures on like the em empty canvases and it was really cool um the bad thing about this or i don't want to say it's a bad thing but it was very simple mechanics it wasn't much that you could do uh, except for walking um and it was a lot of talking definitely at the end especially it was a lot of talking uh then that you know you were unable to um to, for me because of all of the talking and you kind of wanted to continue the story um it, it became a lot of things like too much information basically it was big it was like listening to a game uh which to be fair, I don't think that that is definitely... Like, it's not a, technically a negative part. Um, but for me, I kind of didn't feel... Because it, it, it became... It became so much talking that eventually I kind of felt that it became too much. Especially towards the end. Uh, the, the last episode that I created, it was very annoying. Not, not annoying, that's the wrong word. But it, it was very difficult to keep focus because it was so much talking and i have to say i did not like the way that this story like took turn like i really thought that it was a nice you know i really thought that it was you know fun to you know see the guy and like all of the things and then he going into the house and all of that like that whole story was cool it, it was also really cool going back, you know, to have someone like the guy in the earpiece talking to him and then you kind of go in and you you are kind of being put to hell and like all of these things. I really like that. I would have loved if the game would have ended around that time. I would have loved it because to be completely honest that when you got to the point where... Um, you you know the, the the explanation of of you know him being a writer started that's when the story kind of like just took a downturn and just became really bad um because it felt like first off it felt like a rush ending it felt like it was oh we just need to explain you know what happened but i feel that this game would have definitely benefited of ending like when he went to the um uh, uh like go, went to hell or whatever like he was walking the stairs and you know and they're like oh unfortunately the past doesn't you know cut it like if you could have ended it around that time i think it would have been perfect because you woke up you you were yourself you were talking to yourself you were explaining that you, you know your son's heart failure and like all of that like it doesn't make sense like it does explain why the gameplay was in the way that the gameplay were but it's it felt just so redundant it, it felt like it was oh but now we need to explain all of these supernatural things if it's him writing a book and you know like i i get this the 
a sense that basically you're writing the first book and then you, you're facing the pig mask person and then you, you're rewinding and then you're doing it again with the other thing and then you're rewinding it and do it a third time like i get that whole thing and that kind of gets explained that him being an author and he's actually writing this game basically but it's writing a book i guess um but it just feels like it just for me who loves fantasy it just feels like oh all of this needed to be explained by a real reason like a person you know doing that like it it's like we, oh you could what what they could have done is you know when he was in that that um when i was in that that uh um college room or whatever it was if he would have written down at that point like he would have made a contract with like some demon or something that could have been like fun because that could have explained the story as well um but i just felt like the need of of explaining what happened in the game with a logical ending just kind of made it feel nah, like the actual story man um, I did enjoy the game quite a lot though. Uh, I did enjoy the gameplay of it, which because of that makes me really difficult. Do I recommend this game or do I not? Um, I am actually, despite that I had a lot of fun playing it uh, and despite that the, the, you know, the beginning of the story was really good because of the, <laughs> because of the weird ending, like them having to explain his being an author and you know you get sympathy for him because of his you know child having this heart problem then he's going you know like all of that like i think because of that ending i love the gameplay but i don't think i can recommend this one uh if you're doing it for the story if you're doing it for the gameplay then yes i definitely give it a shot because the, it is creative gameplay with the, the rewind uh, part but to be fair i don't think that the story kind of keeps up with with the game meaning that it will not in my opinion warrant me to say that i actually do recommend this one because i think the the confusing part about this like being so confused about what the fuck is going on when you're being rewinded and such and you know it gives a lot of emphasis on the story because there's not very mechanics in the game so because the story doesn't work out in the end it becomes a disappointment um so yeah i i can't with a good conscience say that i'd recommend it like i said i did enjoy playing it because i thought it was creative gameplay but the story is just too important in this game and yeah unfortunately anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it then well you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again